Greetings, students, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be looking at Unit 4, Lesson 17.1, Word Problems. Now, I'll be working out of the student book today. Uh, I am currently on page 255. So if you have a copy of this book, uh, go ahead and grab that and solve these problems along with me. So we'll want to go through our eight steps uh, to make sure that we're solving these problems correctly. And we'll begin with problem number one. Problem number one says, Mr. Patel buys a desk and three chairs. The desk costs $58 and each chair costs $24. How much does Mr. Patel pay for the desk and three chairs? All right, so we wanna underline how much does Mr. Patel pay for the desk and three chairs? Next, we wanna write our sentence. They've already done that for us. Mr. Patel pays blank dollars for the desk and three chairs. All right, so next, we need to figure out what we need to solve first. Now, they've already drawn the model for us. Notice here that they have the desk listed as $58. We have three chairs for $24, and we're looking for the total. So what would be the, the first thing we would need to find? So you'll notice here, again, they're using a, a comparison bar model instead of a parhole model. Um, either one is, is fine. Uh, you could draw this model like this. That would be 58. These three are all equal. That's 24. And you're looking for the total. Okay. Either one of these two models, either the one the book has provided or this part whole model um, will work. All right. So in order to solve this first, I need to figure out how much we spent on chairs, right? And so here I need to figure out this amount. And so we have is three groups, one, two, three of 24. So we're gonna do three times 24. All right, to do that, we'll do three times four is 12. Three times two is six. Remember, this is 60 because this is a 20. We'll add this 10 up here. So that makes it, make it a 70. So I'll put seven in the tens place. And so we spent $72 on chairs, right? So the problem they wanted us to do here was um, three times 24, and that equals 72, all right? Now, um, we would want to use long division to, to, to solve this. Uh, I've not gone over that yet, um, but let's go ahead and, and do that just to, so you can see how you would do that. Um, so three would go into seven, two times. Two times three is six. So now we've subtracted out that 60. Let's do that. Seven minus six is one. Bring down the two. Three goes into 12 ones. Four times, four times three is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero, right? And so you'll see all I've done is do the, the multiplication backwards uh, to solve that out, all right? So, um, so 72 is correct here. And so three chairs cost $72, right? Next, I need to figure out how much these things equal together, right? So we have the chairs uh, for 72 and the desk for 58. And so now we need to add those together. Um, I'll do it in this space right here. So we'll do 72 plus 58. Two plus eight is 10. One plus seven is eight plus five is 13. Let's check that answer, make sure we got that right. 30 minus 58, right? We need to regroup. Cross out the three, it becomes a two, this becomes a 10. 10 minus eight is two. Two minus five, I need to regroup. 12 minus five is seven. Zero minus nothing is zero. 72 and 72 check out. So 130 is the answer, right? So what they wanted us to do over here was 72 plus 58 equals 130. So he spent 100. $30 on a desk and three chairs, right? Okay, let's go to number two. 
So Miss Wright earns $200 a week delivering pizza. Each week, she spends $105 and saves the rest. How much does she save at the end of three weeks? All right. So here, uh, this one's going to need, the way they're doing this, we'll need uh, two bar models. So first thing we need to do is underline our question and then write our sentence. How much does she save at the end of three weeks? She saves blank dollars each week. She saves blank dollars at the end of three weeks. All right. So next I ask when I'm comparing, I'm not comparing in this problem. So I'm just going to use a par whole model. All right. And so the way they've set this up, we're going to use two different par whole models to solve this. So first thing I need to do is figure out how much she saves in one week. Okay. So I need to solve this. Now we're not going to put a question mark here because this is not the answer to the, to the final question. The one I really need to find the answer to. It is the answer to this question, but not the final question. Not this one up here. All right. So how do I figure this out? If this is how much I have, this is how much she spends, this is how much she saves, what operation am I gonna use? I'm gonna use subtraction. I'm gonna do 200 minus 105 to get my answer. So let's do that. 200, 105 subtraction. Again, make sure we're keeping things neat, nice and lined up. So I can't do this, so I need to cross this out. This becomes a one, this becomes a 10, cross this out, it becomes a nine, this becomes a 10. 10 minus five is five, nine minus nothing is nine, one minus one is zero, okay? So I think 95 is gonna be my answer. Let's check that, 95 plus 105, five plus five is 10, one plus nine is 10, one plus one is two, 200 and 200 check out. Therefore, $95 is how much she saves in a week, All right? But that was not what we were looking for. We wanna know how much she saves in three weeks. So here we'll use another bar model. This one we're going to um, divide into three parts. So this will represent each week, $95. It's how much she makes or how much she saves per week. And we're looking for the total. And here we will put a question mark because that's the question that they're asking, right? This is, this is the main thing they wanna know. This is the one that gets the question mark, all right? So here I have three groups of 95. So I'm gonna use multiplication. 95 times three, three times five is 15. Three times nine is 27 plus one is 28. So let's check that. Again, I'm going to use long division to check this just so you guys can see how this works, how long division is just multiplication like this backwards. All right. Uh, now, three goes into 200. Uh, three goes into two, it doesn't. So three goes into 28. Uh, it'll go into 28 nine times. Nine times three is 27. 28 minus 27 is one. So bring down this five, three goes into 15, five times, five times three is 15. Subtract that out, that equals zero. 95 and 95 match up, all right? So you can see here, um, the same method I use. So here, three times five is 15, that's what I get here. Three times nine is 27, that's what I get there. Here's where you see that where it's subtracted out. So all long division is, is multiplication backwards, all right? So here they wanted us to do three times 95 equals 285. And so she saves $285. All right, so go ahead and turn over to page 256. All right, uh, Cooper packed 15 muffins into uh, into boxes of five each. So 15 muffins into boxes of five each. He used 22 inches of tape to seal each box. What is the total length of tape used? All right, so the, uh, this problem is, is really just two different, um, two different problems that it's asking. So we're gonna use two different models to do it. So let's first solve this first one. Uh, Cooper packed 15 muffins into boxes of five each. So let's figure out how many boxes he used. Okay, so I need to underline 
what is the total length of tape it used? The total length of tape used is blank, all right? We're not comparing, and for this one, we're just gonna do the first part. So he has 15 muffins, and five go into each box. So into boxes of five. So that means we don't know how many boxes there are, but we know there are five in each one. All right, so here I have a, a total of 15 putting into groups of five. And so I don't know how many groups there are, so I'm gonna use division to solve this. So 15 divided by five, five goes into 15 three times. All right, we wanna check that. Five times three equals 15, all right? That checks out. All right, so we have three groups, okay? Now, he uses 22 inches of tape for each group. So here, I'm gonna use another part whole model. This time, I know how many groups I have, and I know how much is in each group, the 22 inches, and I'm looking for the total amount of inches. This is where my question mark will go. All right, so we know there are three groups, 22 in each group, and we're looking for this total amount. So we'll use multiplication to solve. So we'll do 22 times three. Three times two is six. Three times two is six. We can use long division to, to check this. Three goes into six two times. Two times three is six. Six minus six is zero bring down the six, three goes into six two times, two times three is six, six minus six is zero, all right? 22 matches 22, and therefore 66 inches of tape is what was used. All right, our last problem. A Ferris wheel has nine cabins, each filled with an equal number of people. 15 people are still in line, there are 87 people altogether. How many people are there in each cabin? All right. So um, here we want to go ahead and underline our question. How many people are in each still are there in each cabin? There are blank people in each cabin. Now, this one's a pretty tricky one because the first thing we need to do is to get rid of the people that are still in line. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how many people are in the cabins. So we're gonna do a total number of people, all right, um, is, is 87. And we know that 15 people are still in line. So we need to get rid of those 15 and figure this out. We're not going to put a question mark here though, because this is not gonna give us the answer to this, right? This is just the first part. So we'll use subtraction to do this, 87 minus 15, seven minus five is two, eight minus one is seven. All right, so now I know there's 72. Let's go ahead and actually check that though. 72 plus 15, two plus five is seven, seven plus one is eight. Those two check out, okay, good. So now we know there are 72 people um, actually on the Ferris wheel. All right, so now if there are nine cabins, we need to figure out how many there are. So again, we're just gonna use a part whole model. We're not using comparison. Okay, so I have nine cabins. And so make this a little bit neater. I'm just gonna do line with a dot, 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 nine. You could draw eight lines, whichever one you wanna do. There are 72 people total on that Ferris wheel. All of them have the same number of people in it. And so I need to figure out how much are on each, uh, in each cabin. So here I have nine groups of something equals 72. So I'm gonna do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, 72 divided by nine, and that is eight. We can check that, eight times nine equals 72. All right, so those two check out. And that means that there are eight people in each cabin. All right, well, good luck on your independent work. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.